Good evening, everybody. I know it's about 7 o'clock on a Sunday night. I'm riding the bike after after the gym closed at 6 o'clock. I was reading my book. Let me show it to you. You guys miss me? Let me show you my book first. My book. Oh, backwards. Or maybe not. Michael Connolly. The gods of guilt. I can't read backwards. <clears throat> you can hear me. I'm a little, I wouldn't say sick, but I got something going on for the past two months in me. That kind of makes my voice sound sexy. Or at least that's what my wife, Michelle, says. She says, I hope you get better, but can you keep your sexy voice? I know you guys have missed me. I haven't been on here. I've been busy. Real busy. But I'm riding a bike. I've been on here for, seems like, eternity. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I got so much stuff going on, I can't wait to talk about it. You know this little organization? You know the one that hasn't been around long enough to be included in the Natural Bodybuilding Association? We're not old enough. We're not big enough. We're not old enough. We're not cool enough. We're not good enough. We're not whatever enough. But I got to tell you, I think we're damn good enough. I think we got the talent that's way good enough. Our pros aren't good enough for the NBA. I got a lot of stuff in my head, and I've been waiting. People are saying, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? I listen because I absorb. I don't forget anything. Ask my wife. I drive her crazy. I talk to people. I have intelligent, believe it or not, I have intelligent conversations with people behind the scenes. I don't need to name any names. People say, what do you think about the NBA? Well, they can do what they want. Is it helping them? I don't think so. Does it make them look Intelligent? I know they're intelligent people. I know all those people. They are intelligent. But you know what happens when you get a lot of intelligent people together? It's like Congress. It's like the Senate. Those people are the smartest people in the country. But they seem to make some decisions that make you, like an old song, I'll show my age, makes you want to go say, hmm. So, yeah, I mean, you can... Seven years, seven years. We have not been in existence for seven years. True, true, not for seven years. But we've been in existence going on for, this is our second year. Nine shows last year. 14 this year. We have 12 board members. I don't even want to add up all the years of experience that they have. We have a vice president who's like this big fat elephant in the corner of the room. Everybody knows he's there, but nobody wants to talk about him. That's right, Mark the Machine Lowblinder. He's my right hand man. Is it a coincidence that he's involved in, in the American Natural Bodybuilding Federation? No. because I like to consider myself an intelligent man. When I see somebody that's got the same drive, the same passion, the same desire to succeed in anything he does, he's on my team. He's who I go for, regardless of anybody's opinion of him, regardless of what you think about him. Obviously, the natural bodybuilding community loves him because who's the first person you all call when you want supplements? There's two people you call. I'll give, I'll give both guys credit. And if I miss other guys, I'm sorry, I apologize. There's two people you call, and one of them is not Ghostbusters. You call James Karen at Top Supplements Online, Cape Cod Nutrition. Those guys, they get it. They know what's, what it's all about. They help out. Who's the other person you call? You call Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. That guy pushes out more samples more goodie bag stuff than anybody. So would I not want him on my team? Okay, now let's go to that. 
years of experience in the business, he's second to none. He's a businessman. What am I? I've been competing since I was 17 years old. I'm now 50. I tried telling the crowd yesterday that I was 30. They didn't believe me. I've managed and now owned a business combination of, I don't know, I graduated in college in 1986 from the University of Massachusetts, made the NCAA tournament, got their ass whooped first round, but hey, first time in 16 years. Go UMass. So in 1986, I don't know what year this is, 2014, so that's roughly 30 years. I've been a businessman for 30 years. I've managed businesses. I've been a district manager. I've been a regional whatever. Now I own my own business, 10,000 square foot health club. So you ask me, do I not have something relevant to bring to a table of people running the NBA? I think I would, and I think I could, and you don't think Mark Lobliner could have some insight. You don't want to let us vote? That's okay. But would it not be worth it for us to be there? For our ideas? Because obviously we've did something right. We have 300 members. Over 300 members. Amateur, professional. Now you don't want to take our pros, our people that win our classes, our people that get their pro cards at our show. Funny thing happened. We have three people that got their pro cards in our shows last year that went on to get a pro card, an IFPA pro card, and WMBF pro cards. So I guess our pros are good enough, aren't they? So, okay, you don't want our pros. I understand. They're not good enough. Okay, so... Should we have been invited to go to the summit of the NBA? Yes, we should have been. Should we have been allowed to vote on issues? That's up to you guys. Length of, length of time of an organization is irrelevant. Who runs the organization and what dreams and what visions and what what they have in their back pocket is what matters. Business is a result. Uh, hold on. Any business needs to go forward, not backwards. Results is what drives me. Results is what gets me my clients to win their shows, to lose 40 pounds, to rehab from an injury. I want results. The AMBF is all about results. It's all about moving forward, but yet taking a step back and listening to our members. That's right, members. That's what they are. They're members. I listen. We listen. We have conference calls once a month. We vote on issues. Isn't that a, a, a... Can you imagine? We vote on things. Now, I will admit I have extreme veto power. And we've had some good arguments. But that's how things get done. We have not done one thing that has been bad yet. Every decision we have made has been a home run. Straight through format. Home run. Off-season drug testing, home run. Having shows in places where people like to go to, Key West, the Outer Banks of North Carolina, come on. Boca Raton, we were just down outside of AC. Beautiful Jersey Shore of Brick, New Jersey, which is Yes, on the beach. The host hotel is on the beach. People can have fun. They can stay overnight. They can enjoy the surroundings. Texas. Wachahachie, Texas. I've never been there. 
But I have been promised that I could sit on a tank at Fort Hood. That's right, tank. I'm going to be a tank commander. I'm also going to hopefully make a tour of Camp Lejeune. Let me go back down to North Carolina. Camp Lejeune. Oorah! I hope I said that right, fellas. Because I get confused with the army. hoo -ah. Then I get confused with strength and honor or... Strength and honor... Wait a minute. Gladiator gets me confused. I used to make fun of my client. She used to tell me, strength and honor. Well, gladiator in the art, uh, I'll think of it. I'll write you, I'll get back to you on that. So, we go to places that's fun. We don't start the shows till 3 30, 4 o'clock. You don't have to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, but I don't have to keep going. This is all on my top 10 list. We don't charge a fortune for tickets. We do not cancel shows. I don't care if I have one application in hand. We will have the show. It is our, responsibi our responsibility, mine, the promoters, the organization, the AMBF's responsibility to get people to do the show. If you show up by yourself, then you're going to be one tired person because you're going to be out there for three hours. I'll get up stage and dance with you. I'll get up stage, take off my shirt, fat, hairy, and white. I'll pose down all day. So that's the AMBF. Sweating. That's the AMBF. We listen, we do what the people want. If I get feedback, I love feedback. People send me emails. If it's negative feedback, you know, of course, my first reaction is who the hell they think they are. But I listen. And we try to make it better. I'm not so closed-minded that I don't listen to what people are saying. Yesterday I heard that somebody said, you know, sometimes they are silly. But even the silly ones I still listen to. Somebody said, I was the MC of our show in Atlantic City, by the way, which was awesome. It's too bad that our new pros can't compete in the IFPA or WMBF. It's too bad. Because they're friggin' talented as hell. But they won't be on your stage. You gotta make them go through the ranks. Yeah, they're gonna wanna do that. I don't know if that's very encouraging. They could step on your stage right now, be top three. Top three. No doubt. Go look at the pictures. Like I said, last year we had three people. I don't think it's a coincidence. Our people have fun. The AMBF is about fun. It's about giving the competitors, the audience, whoever, what they want. It's about entertainment. We are in the entertainment business. Results, but entertainment. I heard a gentleman, I got some feedback. A gentleman had said, why is the MC making the show about himself? No, I was the MC. The show is about me. That's what he said. I thought I was, I thought I was entertaining. It seemed like most of the other people there thought I was entertaining. I, know, I realized I can't make everybody happy. I mean, I could try, but I know I can't. Maybe some people don't understand my humor. Maybe some people don't get my jokes. I don't curse. I try not to curse. I don't... I don't tell bad jokes. I don't even tell jokes. My job is to entertain the crowd. There's a lot of downtime in bodybuilding contests. A lot of downtime. The MC's job is to keep the flow of the show going and to entertain the crowd during downtimes. I had a hell of a good time. You know what? I had fun. Me. I had fun. And when I hear everybody else laughing around me, then obviously they're having fun. So I'm sorry, Mr. Whatever your name, I don't know who you were. If you felt that the show was about me, fat, white, and hairy, 
sitting at a table, at the judge's table, where nobody could even see me, I apologize. But I thought we had one hell of a show from top to bottom. We had 75% of our competitors were new. My job is to create an environment where they're coming back. And you know what? Probably 75% of the people that were in the show yesterday will be at my show on May 17th, Brick, New Jersey, for the seventh annual New Jersey Natural Classic. And the machine himself, Mark Lobliner, will be there. And I hear rumors that his wife Katie will also be here. Now, I have not met this woman, but I want to give her a hug and a kiss because I know I'm no prize to live with. But I, I don't know if I can live with Mark. So, Katie, I hope you come because I'm going to bow at your feet because my boy Mark, woo doggy. Actually, I don't know if my wife can handle all of us together again. So then I heard... We had a show in Boca last weekend. Great time. Doubled the amount of competitors. Probably quadrupled the crowd. Yeah, still a small show. 